hurry up, please, hurry. Hurry up, when every time you try to reverse, freaking there's someone behind you going three miles a, a, a second, something, something, what, math? Today is June 6th, okay? Not only is uh, Logan Paul gonna be fighting the greatest fighter in the whole entire boxing world, uh, but it is Sunday. <laughs> So as I'm sure about like 50% of y'all know, Sundays always have weird markets open, weird like little grocery places, weird just like mom and pop type shops. But there's this one thing open right now that's called Melrose Trading Post. Good morning. <laughs> Not much, are you awake? Yeah, I'm doing good, surprisingly. I went Good. to bed like at 4 o'clock in the morning. I four. Got trapped in my friend's house. How much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars. So, Danny, explain kind of like what Melrose Trading Post is. Think of this more as like a luxurious swap meet. Oh, like for example, we got some really unique looking shirts over here. No, that's a, that's a flamingo. That's a parakeet. We got Aang right here. We got Sasuke, Naruto. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says. Sasuke was so annoying. Sasuke is a little big. <laughs> These are sick, dude. This is one of my favorite books. It looks like these, they, they made clocks out of them. That is incredible. Really cool socks. Gummy bears, little Caesars, hot Cheetos, Takis. Oh, avocados, the Chick-fil-A ones. <laughs> We uh, managed to get through the whole entire post without spending any money. Congratulations on saving money. By the way, Danny, I loved uh, the video you posted yesterday. Yep, appreciate it, man. Danny and I are in McDonald's now about to get some unhealthy food. Oh, hell yeah. This seriously freaks me out, and Danny just made a good point. Like, what does Ronald McDonald look like without his makeup on? <laughs> mm, I feel bad for eating McDonald's, it's so cheap and good. Shout out to Jeremiah from the last episode for ingraining it in my head to eat more healthy. Oh my gosh, so many bikers. Wow, look at all those people. Holy crap, Harley Davidson? That is insane. You have to be joking. That that cannot be real. Hey, is it is it really $18? Yes. Wow. Real channel on YouTube, don't ever say that I don't love y'all and I'm willing to go out of my way to this is almost as bad as, remember that time we were in San Francisco? Okay. We're going to the amount shown on the display. Holy. But it's worth it guys, we're here for good reason. We're going to check out Venice. I think I'm going to pass out some socks um, by myself. I'm definitely going to change my shirt though. I'm looking like a freaking pink lemonade banana starburst right now. Freaking. Everybody is out today. Um, so I've got my one big duffel bag right here, plus my, my camera bag. That's already a lot. If we need to, we can go back to my car to uh, restock on socks. now in the heart of Venice pretty much and I've already seen a almost fight break out right over here. You've been watching me since January. Yeah, I was planning to move to LA so you you know you go to a lot of places, you go to San Francisco, yep. you went to San Diego so it's pretty cool you know and I'll be part of your video so it's like pretty cool. That's awesome man, I appreciate you watching dude. No problem, man. What was your name? Chris. Gingerbread Court. I'm actually just filming this to remind myself. I just ran out of socks completely. I even uh, gave away the bag because someone needed the bag. Just paid a stupid amount of money for this fruit bowl. It's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I'm here chilling with, with Mike. Mike is getting in some work. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Today. <laughs> and he's on everybody's getting in uh, Mike's way and he's off <laughs>
So what's up guys? This is uh, this is my shop now. I I do Hina tattoos. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I got I got carried away talking with Terman in Venice for like hours and hours. On the way back to my car, I found this on on the sidewalk. These things go for like thirty five dollars at least at the flea market. I was looking at one this morning with Danny, and uh, it's just weird how things work out when you just find things on the on the side. I'm gonna wash this. Okay, I'll wash it. <coughs> Good morning. It's the next day. There's a fire. There's a fire. Let me try and get closer to it to see what's going. On. Oh my goodness That what is that is that a grass a grass fire? Oh My god, no, that's a oh I could feel the flames. Holy crap. That was that looked like a, a Mattress looks like the uh, fire department came out and went ahead and took care of it real quick Thank God for firefighters. So since I got carried away yesterday talking to German in Venice. I think we're gonna finish what we started yesterday. This right here is my favorite place to uh, to shave. So while I was over here, I cleaned my face up a bit. All right, so I just got off the phone with my boy Tanner. Shout out Tanner for giving me the Goodwill idea. Found this uh, really nice Columbia duffel bag right here that I'll probably end up giving away as well, but it was cheap. Headed back to the gingerbread bread place where we left off yesterday. I've already been able to give a couple of socks away. Got the bag. And guys, check this out right here. Freaking huge shout out to uh, Haynes again for providing these socks again. Send us as many as you possibly can. We can't get enough. Also shout out Mark from Invisible People. In less than 30 minutes this morning, I gave away 72 pairs of socks. You know, I live in my car, but it has no relation to the people that are out here actually living on the street. Like TikTok said, completely out. But this is uh, all we have left right here. I know it looks like a lot, but when you're uh, out here at, in Los Angeles and you're handing out socks, it goes by extremely quickly. I'll probably give the rest of those away at uh, third and rose right here. They've got some uh, construction going on over here. There's Gold's Gym right there. And Google is just down the street. It's crazy to think about these encampments being right next to these major organizations. There's also an encampment right here on Sun Sunset and Main Street. All right guys, pretty much got rid of everything that was in my car, which was a lot. I only have one 12 pack left. I'll probably just go back to Venice Beach real quick and give the rest out. I don't know, it just feels good to give back and all these people really do need more help. It's only getting worse here. And so I hope y'all found some sort of value in this video. Uh, make sure to check out all the links down in the description if you want to help or support or donate. Yeah, guys, I also have a Discord if you want to join that. If you need more information about car life, finance, mental illness, drug addiction, you name it. Or if you just want to help, make sure to join. And if you want to support me, uh, I have a Patreon that's $5 a month that helps me um, give back to the community like this with, with the extra money. I love y'all. Um, Again, like, subscribe, tell your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man about the mother freaking channel, your family and friends out here trying to make movies, out here trying to put smiles on people's faces, and uh, we'll catch you all on the next one. See ya.